Welcome back to the channel. In today's video I will do a review of the Fiskars X-Sharp knife and axe sharpener. Most of us use one of these, a regular sharpening stone when sharpening our tools. Will this one hold up? Let's find out. Here's the sharpener. It has a fiberglass reinforced plastic case. It's two sharpeners in one. We have an axe mode and a knife mode. And you can easily shift between them using this button. Inside here there is a ceramic grindstone that changes its angle when you switch between the modes. It does say on Fiskars website that it has optimized sharpening angles for both Fiskars axes and knives. I don't have a Fiskars axe or a knife to test this on, so I will test it on these two tools. First I will test it on this axe. It's an old and really dull axe. I couldn't cut myself with this even if I tried. Next up I have this regular Mura knife. And uh, it's not dull, but it's not super sharp either. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna start with the axe. Here I have a log of pine. And I will try to chop it now before I have sharpened the axe. And uh, see how it performs. I'm not gonna use that much force. As you can see, barely nothing. I'm now going to try with full force and see if I can split it. I couldn't! Let's try it once more. It worked the second time. Before we go and sharpen the axe, we're going to do one more test. For the second test, I'm going to try to shave off some wood from the side of this log. As you can see, it's nearly impossible. Nothing. Now I'm pushing with all I got and literally nothing. Let's go sharpen this and see if it makes any difference. So I'm going to do a couple of passes and see if that does it. First let's switch to axe mode. Excuse my ducks in the background. That was about 10. Let's see. Let's try some more. That is sharper, but it's still not sharp. And as you can see, I'm cutting the plastic a little bit. Hmm. I think that is as sharp as I'm gonna get it. Let's try it out. I will try to do my best to use as much force as I used on the first log. Let's try it. Well, it definitely split the log more. If that is because of the sharpness or if it's because of this log, I have no idea. I'm gonna try to chop it in half now. That actually performed worse. Let's try one more time. Well, it's almost as blunt as it was before. Look, it ha has already lost that edge. Time for the second test. I 
but I think it performs a little bit better. But it's not a significant change. I have to call that a fail. Okay, so now it's time to test it out on this knife. Let's try to cut this paper with the unsharpened knife. It's not that sharp. Okay, let's sharpen it. Switch to knife mode. And let's do a couple of passes. I'm not using much force, just a little bit. Let's see. That is actually really sharp now. Let's try it some, on some paper. Hmm. Well, it's definitely sharper. Before I go and talk about my final opinion, I'm gonna show you real quick how to disassemble this and assemble it again. To disassemble it, there's a button down here. You just press that, and then push the whole thing out. Here's the bottom part, where the ceramic wheel is. Here is a spring. That's what pushes the thing when you switch between modes. One trick that I have read about is that you can put water here, in this little reservoir, underneath the ceramic wheel. And that could potentially help with sharpening the knife and, or axe. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but you could test that. Some people think this is hard to reassemble and uh, the first time I did it, it was hard. You see these two plastic bits here? You have to put the spring in between those. Like that. I don't know if you can see that. The spring is in between those two. Now it works as it should. Now you can just push this in, make sure to push it in this way, push down the button and it works again. Okay, so what's my final opinion on the Fiskars X-Sharp? Well, it didn't do a good job when sharpening that, that axe, but at the same time that was not a Fiskars axe. It does say on the website that is it is optimized for Fiskars tools and I have no way to test that. So you will have to take my results with a pinch of salt. But for the knife, the knife did get really sharp. One small problem that I have found is that it doesn't keep the edge very long. And that is probably because it does nothing to remove the burr that gets built up built up at the edge when you sharpen it. So you should probably just strop the blade a little bit after sharpening and then it will probably hold that edge a lo uh, longer. So, do I recommend the Fiskars X-Sharp? I will have to say yes. It's really fast, it's really easy, it's easy to clean, it's light, Will it replace my sharpening stone? No. But I think it has its uses. Yeah.